Miami played a spring game yesterday. Cam Ward looked really good. Not a surprise to anyone on this program and shouldn't be a surprise to anyone because Cam Ward was a very, very hot commodity in the transfer portal market, flirted with the NFL, and he said, no, I think I'm, think I'm actually going to take my talents to South Beach. He's certainly not the first high-profile athlete to do it, won't be the last. He was 19 of 24, 324 yards, three touchdowns. As I told you guys the other day, I went down there a couple of weeks ago. I know the locker combination to the door, and so I snuck in and I go to practice. That's not really how it happened, but I watched practice. I'm talking about after they slam the doors and kick everyone else out, I watched practice. Cam Ward looks incredible. Now, I saw him one day. You saw him yesterday in the spring game. Looks really good. I don't want to overhype him because you're literally watching a spring practice and a spring game. I'm not going to. I'm just saying it's going to be the best quarterback situation they've had there in several years. I have no doubt about that. Now, the portal window is about to open, and I guarantee you what that coaching staff is down at Miami thinking is, I, that sounds bad, so if I want to clip this later, I want to say it right. Cam Ward, Cam Ward's everything they hoped he would be and then some. So if you're the Miami coaching staff, you look and you say, all right, so we killed it on this guy. Like We, we got it. We nailed it. He's everything we hoped he would be. We may not have guys like that just come along every year we got to make the most of this. We, we've got a window, at least one year, with an elite quarterback. Let's go all in. And they're going to. So they're going to be very aggressive in the portal. Restrepo, by the way, who's already there and has been there for a few years, Xavier Restrepo could be a breakout player this year, and he's been around forever. Normally it's the true freshman or maybe second-year players that you say that about, but Restrepo was already a 1,000-yard guy last year. So he's already really good, but he has not played with a talent like this. And especially if Miami deepens that wide receiver room and takes some of the pressure off him, like Xavier Restrepo could go off this year and you could look at him and say, I, I wasn't familiar with your game. Well, maybe you just didn't see him having a guy the caliber of Cam Ward throwing him the ball. And you will this year. So it's a unique opportunity for him. The caliber of athlete overall is what stands out to me. Now they held a lot of guys out yesterday and they've held a lot of guys out for portions of spring, like Reuben Bain, for example. They know what they have with him. So you could kind of, kind of list him as being on a pitch count. They held a few guys out, but overall, I feel very confident in saying the caliber of athlete Miami's going to take the field with is light years different than the one from the team Mario inherited a couple of years ago. So that doesn't mean anything other than they'll be bigger and faster and stronger. Then it's up to you to go win games with them. It's the beauty of it. You can come in and you take over whatever you take over and then you get to remodel it and remake it your way. Now, I remember when he took the job, he told me that 2024 year, that's, that's where we really feel like we can start to put the gas all the way down to the floor. Here we go. I don't think they've backed off that either. So here we go. Uh, the most enigmatic team though to talk about right now at the higher levels to me is Miami because of how aggressive I think they're going to be in the portal. Therefore, how incomplete this year's starting lineup probably is right now. I don't know who the names are going to be. Got some guesses, but I don't know who the names are going to be. But there will be starters, for all intents and purposes, on that team, maybe by the end of this coming week, that aren't on it right now. So how do you print your preview magazine? How, how, how do you generate your preseason J people? You can't. That's why it's going to be a wild week, and it's, it's a really enigmatic team because you can't, you can't talk about a team that doesn't exist, and they don't exist right now in full form. They don't exist. You can say that about everyone, but really say it about Miami.